girls and welcome to Mrs. Hoover's art class. Today we're going to draw a cube using one point perspective and when we learn to do this we'll be able to make a city or a road or a room or lots of other things. Do you know what one point perspective is? It's a drawing technique that allows you to make something on a flat piece of paper look more realistic. For example, here's a picture of a square. It looks pretty flat, doesn't it? But if I use one point perspective, then I can draw it and I can show the sides and it looks more realistic. So when you learn to draw something with one point perspective, then you could draw something that looks like this, or looks like this, or looks like this. So let's get started. You're going to need a piece of paper and a ruler and a sharp pencil. Okay, the very first thing we need to do when we are making a cube is we need to start with our vanishing point. In one point perspective, we have one point and it's called our vanishing point and we're gonna draw our lines going to that dot. So first thing I want you to do is I want you to go over into the corner of your paper and let's all do this the same. So go up here to the top and draw a square. Now when you are drawing, it doesn't have to be a perfect square, a square or a rectangle. But when you are drawing, I want you to use good ruler technique. So I am right-handed. I will hold my ruler in my left hand and I will draw on the right-hand side. So I don't want you to like cross over or try to draw like holding here and crossing over. That makes it too difficult. So good ruler technique, hold it on the left. Now if you are left-handed, then you will flip it over and you will hold it on the right-hand side and you'll draw on the left. So I'm going to make a rectangle or square over here in the corner of my paper. And I'm just gonna draw a line. All right, and then I'm gonna approximately slide over, draw another line. You see how I'm holding my ruler with my hand? I'm not holding down here at the bottom or up here at the top because then my ruler will slip. I'm taking my fingers and I'm spreading them out over the ruler to hold it down firmly. And then I'm putting my pencil up in the air. I'm not drawing down like this, but I'm holding it straight up and down and drawing from the top to the bottom. I can turn my paper. It's a little easier. And then I line it up, hold down tight on my ruler, go from top to bottom. And oops, you can see I need to keep going. And then again, Lining it up, trying to make it as square as I can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're trying to make something that looks kind of like a square or a rectangle. All right. Now we are going to draw guidelines. Guidelines are going to be a race. So do we want to draw them really heavy or do we want to draw them lightly? And if you were in my class, you should be raising your hand and saying lightly. That's right, because we are going to erase them. So I'm going to turn my paper. I'm going to draw from the corner of my square or rectangle to the vanishing point. All right, so my first guideline is gonna go from here to here. So I'm gonna line up my ruler, and you see I've got my ruler on the left-hand side. I slide it over to the dot and the corner of my square, press down on my ruler, and go from the corner to the vanishing point. Now I'm gonna press down heavy so that you can see it. If I drew real lightly, you might not be able to see my pencil mark, but you should draw lightly. Okay, there's my first guideline. Second guideline is gonna go from this corner to the vanishing point. All right, so here we go. All right, lining it up here and here, and I start at the corner, and I draw to my vanishing point. That's my guideline number two. And you may be guessing where my third line's going to go right there from here to my vanishing point line it up in this kind of drawing it has to be very exact for it to really come out looking good so we're going to be careful we're not going to freehand our lines make them all nice and straight so there's the beginning of my one point perspective cube now the next part is the tricky part and that involves parallel lines do you remember what parallel lines are Show me with your hands, what are parallel lines? And you should be putting your hands like this. They're lined up. Parallel, like if I have the pencil here, if I make the ruler parallel to it, it's like this. Parallel lines, they go on and on, they never touch. So we are going to draw 
the bottom of our cube and it needs to be parallel with this line. So we need to draw another line parallel with this one. So what I need to do, I need you to, to practice kind of sliding your ruler back and forth. See, I'm taking it across the page and I'm keeping it parallel. If it helps you, you can line up your pencil and then keep this parallel. You don't want to turn it and you don't want to turn it like that. You want to keep it parallel. So I'm going to pull it back to see how long I want my box to be. I think I'll stop here. Now I'm going to draw from this guideline, the first top guideline to the middle guideline. I'm not going to go all the way across. This is going to be the side of my box. So I'm going to go draw from the top to the middle guideline, pressing on my ruler and I draw across. Okay. There's one side of my box. Now I'm going to do this bottom box here and I'm going to turn my paper. So same thing, I'm going to make this one parallel as well. So I could hold my pencil here if that helps you. Hold my pencil here, make it parallel, and slide it over. See how I'm sliding it over? So I make it parallel and I slide it over. See how I'm sliding it over. Now I'm looking for where this line here touches the guideline. See where these two touch? That little corner there, that's the corner of my box. And I want this line to line up with that to stop right there. So when I pull my, when I pull my ruler over, I'm looking for that corner to appear. There it is. See now this is parallel with this line here. And I'm going to draw from that corner down to this bottom guideline from there, from the second guideline to the third guideline. So here's the first guideline, second guideline, third guideline. So I'm going from the second down to the third, keeping it parallel with this line. There. Now, doesn't that look, up, look pretty realistic? It's starting to look three dimensional, isn't it? Okay. So that is basically drawing a cube. And if I were to erase these guidelines, I would have a cube, three dimensional cube. Okay. Not too hard. Let's do another one. Let's do one down here in the corner. Okay. So I've drawn two lines here, one across and then here, and then I can turn my ruler and draw the other two lines. All right, so we're going to draw another set of guidelines. We're going to go from the corners to the same vanishing point. We're not going to make another vanishing point. We just have one vanishing point. So I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to go from each one of these corners to the vanishing point. Corner, vanishing point to the corner, line it up. See how I can put my pencil here and pivot my ruler. And line it up. So now I need to use my parallel lines to do the sides of this cube. So I'm going to line up my ruler right like this. See how it's parallel and it stays parallel as I slide it across and I can make it as big or as little as I want. So what if I make a really big box? I may take it over really far. I have to be careful. Don't turn it. Don't turn it. So the way to check it is to line up your ruler. So let's say I did it wrong. Okay. Some students do it like this. They start to think, it needs to be perpendicular to this line and it gets confusing. So they, so you, one way to check it is to take your ruler and line it up and then take your pencil and line it up with that edge of your rectangle. And then look at them. Do they look parallel? They sure don't. So now you can use this You keep this here and you can move your ruler to be parallel with your pencil and then draw your line. Okay. Top, to the middle guideline and I'm going to erase this bad boy right there. 
Now I need the line that goes across here and is parallel with this line. So I'm going to turn my paper, line it up, and I'm going to wait till I get to that corner. There's my corner. That's where I want to stop. When I see that, I know I'm ready to do my other side. So here it is lined up and I'm pushing it across the page, keeping it parallel. See, here's my pencil. See how it's parallel? Still parallel, still parallel. And there's the corner. And my lines are still parallel. So I can draw from that corner there down to my third guideline. And there's my second cube. So what you do is you just keep on drawing. You don't have to erase these right now, but you just keep on drawing squares and rectangles and turn them into cubes. Now when you draw a square that is lined up in the middle like this or lined up across the horizon like that, you will only have two guidelines. So let me show you why that is. Let's do, let's say I do a square right up here and it's right above the vanishing point. When I go to draw my guidelines, I won't be able to draw, but just two of them. Okay, so here's my square. It's right above my vanishing point. And I see I can draw from this line to the vanishing point. And from this line, I'm sorry, from this corner to the vanishing point. But if I draw from this corner to the vanishing point, I'm going through my box. And unless I want to make a transparent box, I can't draw from there or from there. But that's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be because it's lined up here in the middle. And then the same thing would be if I put a box right here, I would just have two guidelines. So don't worry about that. If you find yourself struggling to try to find that third corner, it's probably because you've drawn it on the horizon line, this horizontal line or the vertical line. And that is just fine because that is correct. to see your artwork so if you'd like you can take a picture of it and send it to me at mrs hoover's art class at gmail.com and if you want to turn this one point perspective cube into a bird's eye view of the city then look for my next video which is a bird's eye view of the city and remember every day is a great day to make art bye